Keep an eye on Brett Smith as well, a real hard charger in the V39. Domain Ramsey likewise in the 20. That's your third row. Lights are out, set for another start. Heat race number two. Well, Brett Smith was a little keen on the inside of that third row. We'll watch Adrian Redpath whistle down the back chute. Yellow lights on. A little more indiscreet. Bit of a red flag on the wing there, maybe. Yeah. A great looking race car is Brett Smith 39. But we'll do it all over again. Charles Hunter and Phil Down. That's your front row. Second time lucky. Oh, wheelie from Phil Down. Now that took him by surprise. Redpath did not benefit at all. But Charles Hunter is your leader. Phil Down in second. Grant Anderson. Look at the run he gets off turn number four. Redpath in fourth. Go back to Smith with Milburn working the high side. Ramsey, Dennis Jones, Sean Hebert and Phil Locke in the four. Redpath now. He's got the elbows up. Two down. Eight laps to go here in heat two. Charles Hunter. Wouldn't he love to open the season with a feature race victory? Phil down in second, but Ando's challenging on the bottom. Anderson looking to set up a high line pass. Now switches to the bottom. Four laps to go here in heat two. Oh, Charles makes a small error in turn two, allows Anderson right on him. Phil down in third. So we'll keep an eye on the race for the lead. It'll come down to the wire. Charles Hunter continues to lead Grant Anderson. Phil down. Maintains third. Back to Redpath. Smith and Milburn. They're standing toe to toe for fifth. Anderson now in turn three. Sneaks through to the lead. White flag. One to go for Grant Anderson, your new race leader. Charles Hunter back to second. Phil down in third. Redpath in fourth, and look at the battle for fifth. Smith and Milburn with Milburn trying to hang on. He does around the outside. So Anderson will take the win. Charles Hunter, nice job in second. It'll be a good drag race from the front row. Will it be Rankin or Loudon? Oh, Timmy Rankin hauls the 47 into turn one. He's got the lead. We'll work our way back to second, and it is Ian Loudon. Johnny Vogel's in third. Daniel Newnham making a welcome comeback to sprint cars. He runs fourth. David Aldersley, the V64 in fifth. MVB slips back to sixth. Ludeman, Molino, and Ryan Davis in the V95. We'll pick up your race leader in turn number one. Seven to go for Tim Rankin. What a great way to start. Ian Loudon back in second. Newnham looks very comfortable in third. Vogels, now Van Bremen quickly to fifth. Aldersley with a little flutter coming from the 64. Molino's hot on his heels. Your leader is halfway home. Five to go for Tim Rankin. Loud now, starting to gather some momentum. Here he comes. The Sydney Sider starting to feel the rhythm here at Avalon Raceway. Newnham gives up third, was a little untidy in turn number two. Not sure of the problem, but he's drifting back through the field. Checkered flag time. What a run for Tim Rankin. Ian Loudon home in second. Then it's MVB. Can Daniel Newnham hang on? He can for fourth. And he's unbuckling the helmet, folks. He was last year's Rookie of the Year, and what a great way to start his sophomore year. How about some noise for Timmy Rankin? What well up, mate. What was the game plan with Ian Loudon on your outside? Uh, try and drag racing into the first turn. Uh, this is one of his ex-motors, so updated to 410. And I want to clear something up. I've only got a 410 left. Everything in the paper's been, I've got a 372. So that's wrong. I've got a 410, and this is what we're doing. We're out here winning. Only one motor, you converted the 372 to the 410. Confidence boosting, I would imagine, going into his second year of sprint cars. 
Yeah, we've just had some trouble tonight. Um, the throttle keeps sticking on a bit. We've still got a little bit of a sticking, but um, that's better then, but we'll, we'll get it going better in the next one. Ooh, ominous signs. Well done, young man. How about some noise, folks, for Timmy Rankin? It'll be a beauty here in heat race number four. Some heavy hitters at the back. Oh, a little bunched at the start. We're green. Matthews leads them down the back chute. Hebert, Ramsey, fourth place is Redpath. We've got them coming together on the back chute. Simon Van Ginnigan, Mark Charge involved, and Van Ginnigan will bring on the cautions. There was some contact mid-pack. Phil Down may have been involved as well in the 34 machine. And as a result, Van Ginnigan spins to a stand restart. The 33 of Sean Hebert on the pole. Alongside Ballarat's Rod Matthews. Domain Ramsey runs through on the bottom in the 20. Harley Bishop looking to go on the outside. Red Pop had a peak on the bottom. That was for third, fourth and fifth. Rod Matthews, he's off to the races. Look at him trying to run and hide. Red path through to fourth. Bishop back to fifth. Reed in sixth, looking for fifth and gets it. <laughs> He's sharp, snuck right through there as he sets off after Red path. Rod Matthews continues to lead. Sean Hebert. Domain Ramsey peaking on the inside. Red path in fourth. Matthew Reed. Back to Bishop, Dennis Jones, Van Ginnigan and Phil Down. Tight battle for the Miners. Hebert, Ramsey, Red Path, three, they're all there. Halfway home for your leader. Rod Matthews, he's checking out on them. Reed grabs another position. Red Path not giving up the fight. Four to go for your leader. He has checked out. Great run for Rod Matthews. Hebert, he looks ultra comfortable in second. Ramsey in third. Reed in fourth. It's been the race of his life and he's still in fourth. Can he muster another position or two? Bishop sneaks through a position on Red Path. Well, it's been a lively heat four. Domain Ramsey now slots his way into second. Matthew Reed coming with him on the high side. Hebert maybe back to fourth as the white flag's out for Rod Matthews. Ramsey, Reed, Hebert, Bishop, Redfarm. It's busy. Smooth sailing for Rod Matthews. Takes a great win. Ramsey home in second. Reed third. Hebert, Bishop, Redfarm. Wow, didn't that moment, folks, one of the real nice guys, Victorian Sprint Car Racing, takes out heat race number four. Can I get some noise for Rod Matthews? Mate, that was a big drive. Over a quarter of a lap advantage over Domain Ramsey. And, oh, Matthew Reed there in third. Well done. Uh, yeah, Domain's only got a little 410, hadn't he, mate? <laughs> Just a small one. Look at the smile on your face. That's a great way to start a new season. Uh, yeah, it's better than the way I finished my last one, mate. That was uh, with a broken ankle here, so, yeah. That's much more better. What changes will you make for the car? Because that should slot you into the A main now. Ah, uh, yeah, if it's, yeah, don't know. We'll wait and see what the track does, I guess. Yeah, that was nice then, obviously. So it probably would be a little bit tight if we're in some traffic though, I guess, yeah. How'd you spend the off season? Uh, working, mate, to buy new parts. <laughs> what training do you do during the off season? Uh, yeah, not a lot, mate, no. No, I chase around after me kids. <laughs> mate, I can see that because you've got the sweat running from the brow. How about putting your hands together, folks, for Rod Matthews, Heat 4 winner.